Louisiana is one state most vulnerable to climate change. Hurricanes are becoming stronger and more frequent, and the rising sea level is speeding coastal erosion and increased rainfall is resulting in more floods. At the city council's urging, Entergy New Orleans is now working to phase out greenhouse gas emissions. Paul Murphy has an update on the efforts to harness the sun's energy to power the Crescent City. Mission. And liftoff. NASA's Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans East has for generations built the powerful rockets that launched astronauts into space. Next door to where crews are now working on the Artemis Space Launch System, designed to take men and women to the moon, Mars and beyond, lies a sprawling power plant focused on the sun. Energy New Orleans Solar Station, also known as NOS, sits on about 100 acres of previously undeveloped land at Michoud. What we've been doing is, is you know, dipping our, our toe in, and now it's more like our whole leg, right, into, into solar and more and more in the Entergy New Orleans area. Entergy New Orleans CEO Deanna Rodriguez says the company is responding to what customers and the city council that regulates the utility want clean, renewable power generation. Now as renewables are, are the cost is coming down for renewables and the, the decision by our customers and demand by our customers to get greener, this is where we are right now. The 20 megawatt plant consists of more than 70,000 solar modules that can be monitored and operated remotely. City Council Vice President Helena Moreno says NOS is an important part of New Orleans' clean energy future. It's an amazing site. And what, what was so amazing about the Mishu project uh, was also the, that it didn't take very long to uh, put together and to implement. Um, number two, there's like very little maintenance that goes along with it. And number three, there's certainly room for expansion. The city council is now requiring the utility to provide power without generating any greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. NOS is built to withstand 134 mile per hour hurricane conditions. The plant can now provide enough clean energy to power more than 3,100 homes. That would offset the equivalent of more than 6,100 passenger vehicles emissions in one year. All that we're seeing is uh, our storms getting stronger, less preparation for some of these uh, major storms are coming more frequently. And so whatever we can do here in the city of New Orleans to mitigate climate impacts, we have to move forward with and we have to be aggressive with it. I went to law school at Tulane. Jesse George from the Alliance for Affordable Energy called the NOS facility a step in the right direction for Entergy New Orleans. In a city uh, like New Orleans and a state like Louisiana that is so vulnerable to climate change, uh, it's absolutely essential that we decarbonize our electric grid. The Alliance is pushing the city and Entergy to allow smaller community-based solar gardens as well. That would create a mandate for that locally produced energy, which provides not only lower generation costs, but the resilience and reliability and economic and labor development that comes along with local renewable resources. The Entergy New Orleans CEO says she's looking at that idea. It would entail constructing these local solar gardens that multiple subscribers could subscribe to. So if you want to, to take power from that garden, and we would, Entergy would provide bill credits for their share of the power produced. Entergy wants to increase efficiency at NOS by adding a system of backup batteries to store energy when the sun isn't shining. Councilmember Moreno is urging the utility to also harden its transmission infrastructure, how it gets electricity to your home as it invests in renewable energy. You can have all this clean power, but if it can't get through the lines, you know, well enough, if we don't have sturdy infrastructure, if we have infrastructure that, you know, easily can fail, then who cares about your power generation because you're still having a bunch of blackouts and you're still having a bunch of power issues. Deanna Rodriguez says the nature of solar power generation makes the overall system more resilient. We have a storm. How do you kind of come back? Maybe perhaps it's through these community solar gardens. It could be through any type of the battery backup to solar. Those are the things that are going to help us if we have a storm come back faster and more quickly in each of our communities. is also getting solar power from this massive solar farm in Washington Parish. 
it looks bizarre compared to the corn and cows that were there before. Tomorrow, we take a trip to the Iris Solar Facility near Franklinton and hear from Energy Louisiana CEO Philip May on the future of renewable energy in the state. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.